Hi and welcome back to another video. Today we are taking a look at PowerPoint presentations and how you can make text appear upon a click. Um, so this is a pretty powerful function that um, basically lets you have things like bullet point lists um, that when you click um, your mouse you'll basically present each particular bullet point um, to the audience. Um, this might be a little bit lengthy because I've got some pretty funky kind of um, animations that I'd like to kind of go through with you guys for bullet point lists um, but if you do find it useful please do click on the like button and hit subscribe it means a lot to the channel um, and with all that said let's jump on over to PowerPoint okay so here I am in PowerPoint and what I want to do is actually show you guys how to create um, these kind of bullet point lists here um, and then actually um, have them animated when you click your mouse so they will look something like this okay um, so every time you click a mouse you're basically represented with the text on a click um, with a bit of a fun background as well so that um, it really stands out and it helps you kind of level up your presentations um, ultimately these are actually very simple to um, create they um, comprise of um, a basically a bullet point itself um, a background circle here that uh, will swipe from left to right a rectangle that will um, wipe from left to right and then the text that will fade in um, at the specific intervals okay so what I'm going to do is just create a um, new blank slide here I'm just going to remove these because I did not need the text boxes right so the first thing that we're going to do is head over to the insert tab and go to um, shapes from here we want the oval and then using the shift key um, we will be able to create a perfect circle just like this one here then what we want to do is just format this so I'm just going to choose black um, and then I want a white outline and then I want that to be weighted to about three points um, these are all pretty um, standard functions that I'm hoping you guys are familiar with um, if not just kind of rewind the video and just see where my mouse is clicking I want to try to keep this um, clean and concise as possible um, then um, so what I've done so far is created the circle um, added a style um, which is black I then added a white outline and then I made that outline three points from here I'm going to add a shadow and I'm going to put that on the right and now this is what we're presented with I can just click this image and type one um, and then in here I can highlight that go to the home tab and basically increase this um, to 36 and probably change the font to look something a bit bolder um, maybe something like that there so now we have a bullet point next thing we want to do is actually just um, select the image and press ctrl D um, and that basically duplicates that out this time what we want to do is actually go to the format the shape um, we're going to give this a color of green to start with um, and I'll change the color later once you kind of see what the animations are doing we're going to remove the background and then we're just going to remove the text and um, so the reason I copied this I'm just going to remove that um, shadow as well so the reason I copied this is because therefore it makes it the same size as this one here which makes it a lot easier for us to do our animations later okay so now we have um, the circle what we want to now do is actually go back to the insert tab go to shapes and create our rectangle um, and this rectangle here is uh, going to be the same height as our circles we want to also choose what kind of color we actually want that to be at the final stage we'll remove the outlines and then there's this little orange circle in the top left hand corner we're going to grab that and move it right into the center um, uh, as far as it will go and that creates these perfectly rounded edges now this um, rectangle is the same height as our circles and we can grab our green circle here and just uh, right click that and bring it to the front yeah, bring it to the front um, and then what we can do is just line that up like so and now we can see that what we want to do is actually take this green um, circle as an animation and move it over to the right hand side like so so in order to do that we line it up on the left to start with with the green circle selected we're going to go to the animations we're going to go down to the more options 
and then we're going to come down to the lines, the motion paths lines at the end here. Just give that a click and it's going to quickly show you what that looks like. It's obviously going in the wrong direction currently. So what we want to do is actually come over to the effect options over here on the ribbon and then go from um, select right. So now it's moving to the right. Now we can see it's overshot our um, rectangle. So what we want to do is grab our rectangle and move that over to here. Now, if we quickly just play our animation, we'll see if that is in the right spot. So it obviously doesn't quite finish where we'd like it to. Um, so what we can do is actually just zoom in a little bit, click on the red arrow there, and we can see where the green um, the green circle actually finishes. What we're going to do is just grab that and move it ever so slightly until it perfectly aligns up with our end of our rectangle. Um, so it's going to be around about there. Okay, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect, but it needs to be close enough. Okay, so now what I can do is preview that, and it looks like so. Perfect. Okay, next animation, we're going to select the rectangle. And we're going to go back to our animations here um, and this time what we want to do is click on the wipe option this one just here under entrance and again it's wiping in the wrong direction but we're going to select the um, rectangle here go to more effects and then choose from left so now it goes in that direction perfect so now I have uh, two animations if I preview it will look like that which is what we're after. So the circle moves from left to right and um, our rectangle wipes from left to right. The next thing that we want to do is head to the insert tab and find a text box. We're going to draw a text box on top of our rectangle. Um, I'm going to type the words in capitals um, title, go down a line and then just say um, add text here. Now what I want to do is highlight all of this and choose a different font, something that uh, suits my style personally. So I'm going to go for this one. I'm then going to just select the title and only increase the title size a few points as well. Okay, now with our text box selected, we're going to add an animation there. So we're going to go back to the animations tab and we're going to select fade. Okay, so now our text is fading. Um, and what we can do is just click on preview and it looks like this. Now obviously it's not quite in the right order. So what we're going to do is head over to the animations tab here and find the animation pane. On this animation pane here, um, we're able to see the various different things that we have, right? So our oval, um, we have, um, so that's the our first one here, which is the circle. And the blue here represents where it starts and how long it goes on for. So I need to reduce this down in time to become one second. The rectangle, um, also needs to be one second. Okay, and then from this drop down menu here, you want to make sure that it starts with previous. The text box, um, this time we want this to end at one second, but we want it to start at 0 0.5 seconds, and then we want this to go with previous. Okay, and we just need to adjust this uh, accordingly. Okay. So now um, ends at one, starts at five, and then all of that there. So if I just click on preview now, we end up with our animation looking pretty slick. Um, I can select the green circle here, go to format shape, and we're going to just change this to become the same color as our rectangle. And now what I can do is grab our bullet point here and just, first of all, bring this to the front, pull this on top of our bullet point list here and there we go so now we have an animation that will trigger on a click um, and then follow through with expanding our um, rectangle and fading in our text what I can now do is just grab this move this over here um, holding down the control key I can now copy another one and then I can copy an additional um, bullet point here so what I can now do is just change that to bullet point two and this to bullet point three. If I preview this, um, so in the animation section here, we can see that each time you do a click, it will do that animation. And that's it guys, it's as simple as that to kind of create these really fun 
um, bullet point animations um, for your PowerPoint slides that kind of takes your presentation skills up to the next level. Um, if you found this video useful, please do click on the like button, hit subscribe and tap that bell. It means a lot to the channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.